if you're joining our August 31st PZM Essentials webinar. And the webinar that we'll be going over today is creating free sales reports within Profit Zone Manager. To give you a basic rundown of our agenda today, we're going to go through our introduction as we are here now. And then we're going to go through and create a free Profit Zone Manager account to get our soils reports, create an enterprise within Profit Zone Manager, select and create our fields that we want to run soils reports on, and create soils reports on specified fields, farm, or at the enterprise level. And then we'll wrap up with any questions anyone might have. So what I first want to do before we go over and so we are in Q&A mode so if you have any questions you can type questions in the chat box below where you see my contact information my email is there my cell phone number is there and if you have any questions after the webinar please feel free to shoot me an email or give me a call and we can work through this this on your own or one-on-one -on -one consultation so we're going to go ahead and into Profit Zone Manager. So within Profit Zone Manager we can create free soils reports, FEMA flood hazard maps, aerial satellite imagery maps, and then also <clears throat> and so what we'll do, we'll go ahead and click start here. And then this is where you can create your your basic Profit Zone Manager account. All you need is your first name, your last name, an email address, your specified password you want to set for your account, password confirmation, and then just saying that you agree to the terms and services, you can open up that document, review that. But terms of service is primarily saying that if we, if you or anyone uploads your yield or or as applied data to utilize Profit Zone Manager as a scenario building tool, we don't share your data with anyone else. And then you just said that you are not a robot by clicking the associated picture. So in this case, it says click all the pictures with with storefront images. So, but I already have my Profit Zone Manager account, so we'll just log in to create our enterprise fields and then run specific reports. Logging in here. So when we create our account, this is the first page that it takes us to, and I already have one enterprise in here now. We'll go ahead and add a new enterprise and we'll call this Don Ba Farms. So enter in. Primarily we need a name for the enterprise and if you want to add your address, city, state, zip, phone number, email, you can do all that. But primarily we just need a name for the enterprise. So next we're going to add a field to run our soils reports on. There's three different ways we can select our fields. The first is selecting the CLU, CLU layers that we already pulled into Profit Zone Manager. We can draw our field boundaries or if you have of your field boundary you can add those in. So we're going to go ahead and click on get and get started. We'll come to the left hand side here, click on the green add field button. So we'll have our field name, we'll call this home field. So we can enter in our field ID if we have one tagged to our fields. Um, sometimes producers like to put in their FSA farm or field number and then this is where you can browse for a shape file of your field boundary. But for right now we're just going to zoom in and select the CLU layer boundary. So we'll go ahead and click next. We have directions on how to draw field boundaries or select the CLU layer. Go ahead and click close. For simplicity I'm just going to type in the address 
to get us in the vicinity of where the field's located. Select the address. So here's our home site, grain handling field. And what we're doing, we're going to go ahead and select this field to the north. So since we're going to add another CLU, we're going to go ahead and keep drawing and add this little portion to the south there. So then when we're done selecting our boundaries, we'll go ahead and click the green yes button. And so next, what we're going to do, we can come over to the upper right-hand side here above the map where you see Create Report button in gray. We'll go ahead and select that. And then for this, we're going to go ahead and select and create a report based off of the field level that we've just created. So we select Field, Home Field. And what we're going to do is Soils Report. Flood hazard map, topography map, and aerial map. So our report has been submitted. And I want to let you know that creating soils reports is a free service by AgSolver. And so all you have to do is create your account, go in, select your field, and then run a report. And then you have the soils map, aerial map, topography map, and satellite map. These maps are very similar to the surety soil maps. So right now, the report is being created in the background. And when that report is ready, you'll see a red notification square kind of come up right beside our notifications flag. And it will also be sent. And it will show a a green print report button also regarding the email that you entered in the report will all you also get a notification via email So I'll just take a minute or two so we can come back and view another soils report that I already created. So in the damn buy enterprise, I actually deleted that field. So we'll wait for the report to come back up. So while that is being created, I want to let everyone know that this webinar will be available on YouTube after it is completed. And so you can go back there and see how we created our account, created our enterprise, created our field, and ran a report. And then also at 11 o'clock, we will be doing our intermediate planning webinar, which where we'll be looking at a zone-specific specialty crop for 2017. In this case, we're going to be looking at adding oats on some of our more unproductive acres along with soybean production. So that's at 11 o'clock, and that will also be posted to YouTube also. So and just a quick show you how we can add a field by drawing. So we'll call this field west of 
buildings. So in this case, say we want to draw our field boundary, we click on the polygon drawing tool and just start simply placing points. around the field. Simple, doesn't take much time. If we click on the last point, then we get our notification. Are we done drawing our field boundaries? Click yes. And so, While that's running, you can open the floor up for any questions anyone might have. We'll create, create a report on West of Buildings Field 2. So yeah, so right now the worker is creating a report and I was going to show you the information within that re report once it is downloaded just to show you what's in that report. Um, currently waiting on the report to come back but the information within the report is a NRCS and soils soils um, soils map. The second map is a FEMA flood hazard map. Third is a basic topography map, and then the final report is a satellite map based off of Landsat 8 satellite aerial imagery. So, and we're just, like I said, waiting for the satellite, or excuse me, the report to come back. Um, and so, Spencer, I would say if, if you want, you could send in your, your email address and then I could forward you what a report might look like um, and so or if you wanted to go ahead and create your own account um, so currently just just waiting on the report to come back Time being. Go ahead and add another field within Danby Enterprise.
So I also want to mention, so say you have a subscription to account where you can create scenarios and have primarily full access to everything within Profit Zone Manager and those map layers would just be an add-on um, to have a sense of what that looks like. We'll come in, I'll log into my other Ag Solver account here and we'll see if we can process a report within that. So and this is an enterprise that has full access, precision business planning suite. We'll come into the Webster field here. And then as the same, click on print report or create report. So we'll base it off the field level, Webster. And here's our full reporting suite and then our soils report, flood hazard map, topography map, and aerial map are on the right hand side. So and reports being processed that way too. And so within the precision business planning suite, this is where we have the profitability map of the field along with our basic financial performance of the field. And so and then different map layers. Awesome. So so yeah, Spencer, it's just simply going through and creating your enterprise. Um, simply just add a name and then add a field. And so and if you have any questions, please feel free. You have my email and cell phone number there. Um, and so it could be my home internet uh, Wi-Fi speed. So that might be taking a little while. So. Um, So and it's easy to create and run reports. log back into my other profit zone manager account see if that report is back yet So I just got an email saying that my report has been created with <coughs> my Ag Solver account. So.
there's that green report button. And then going through the report, once it opens up. So we have a aerial image of the field. Next we have a soils map of this particular field with a location by county. And then the soils map showing the acreage amount per soil type within the field, percentage of that field, soil type within the field, average corn production, soybean production, organic matter levels, CSR2, and then the N and the NCCPI value index. Next, we have a basic topography map of this particular field and then a FEMA flood hazard map of the field. And if there's any flood hazard zones, you'd see blue within these areas like you see in the top right hand corner. Um, but for this field, it's not in a floodplain, so there's no flood hazard to this particular field. So I want to thank everyone for joining our August 31st webinar. And Spencer, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. When you're creating your enterprise, adding your fields, um, but primarily it really walks you through the steps. So, so thank you for joining and I hope to see everyone at our webinar at 11 o'clock.